Yeah, so I'm sitting here on my computer, nice lazy Tuesday, whatever day it is, and uh, I have a ton of footage from this 2018 California to Jersey road trip. So let's uh, let's do a video. What do you say? Yeah. All right, let's go. I think that looks cool. I don't know if it does or it doesn't. I keep doing it, whatever. After we dusted off the RV, after we took her out of storage, we left San Diego and the first place we were stopped at was Slab City, was the first place on the list. For those of you that don't know, Slab City is referred to the last free place in America. The summed up version of what Slab City is, is it's basically a town built out of garbage from drifters in the middle of the desert. A lot of RVers, especially snowbirds, stay here as well. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of cool stuff at Slab City as well. There's a reason we stopped here. Salvation Mountain is really cool, worth checking out. Probably the biggest tourist attraction there. East Jesus, which is pretty much an art exhibit built from garbage, is pretty cool too. Lots of weird stuff. We were also lucky enough to compete in the Slab City Olympics. You know, I haven't thrown a javelin since high school, but I think I did pretty well. And a little shout out to Hornfeather for making us our bracelets. After Slab City, the plan was to shoot north and check out the Grand Canyon. I've never been there, and Nikki's never been there. Um, it's the freaking Grand Canyon. We drove all the way up there just for it to be so unbelievably cold. Uh, it was so cold that I was nervous that the pipes are going to freeze in the RV. Unfortunately, we didn't stay and just kind of beelined it south to try to get somewhere a little warmer for the RV. I mean, it could have been fine, but I was just nervous. So we headed south and we actually ended up crashing in Tucson for a couple days. Tucson wasn't planned, so we really had no idea what the hell we were gonna do here. We ended up spending one of the days at one of those botanical gardens. It was okay, nothing special. The, uh, the butterfly house was pretty cool. It was nice to find out that Nikki was terrified of butterflies for some reason. On the other day, we decided to check out Saguaro National Park. On the way there, you actually pass an airplane graveyard, which is pretty cool. The park itself was nice. Um, it felt good to get out of the city and go for a hike in nature. But to be honest, I was starting to reach my limit as far as looking at cactus go.
from Tucson, the plan was to head over to Roswell. Uh, you hear so much stuff about Roswell, it's like, okay, let's, yeah, let's check out Roswell. You know, maybe we'll see a freaking alien or something. Why not? Uh, on the way there, actually, there was one of those roadside attractions that have, like, hundreds of billboards before you even get there. So, like, three hours out, you're just seeing, like, billboards for this place. Uh, which, in theory, it was just, like, a gas station, truck stop, gift shop. Uh, it was called The Thing. And it was actually a pretty cool place. The whole idea of it was if two different alien factions came to Earth in prehistoric times and they had a civil war, but they used dinosaurs as their soldiers. Uh, it was super goofy and super quirky, but it was, it was really well done and totally worth checking out. Can't forget to mention the awesome pistachio ranch we stopped at. World's biggest pistachio, and they had like a million different kinds of pistachios. Garlic, pickle, ranch, whatever you could think of they had. Cool freaking place. We finally made it to Roswell and Roswell, on the other hand, was underwhelming, to say the least. Uh, there wasn't really too much going on in the town. Um, it was the definition of a one-horse town, or one alien town. <laughs> so we went to the International Research Alien Museum, and there, the exhibits were even kind of cheesy and dated. Um, they had some random newspaper articles up, uh, some weird pictures. I don't know. Wasn't my cup of tea. A little disappointing. From Roswell, we shot down to Carlsbad Caverns, and that place was freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, it was really, really cool. It was one of those places that's just like super old. And it just has so much. It's one of those places that has so much old beauty. It's just like. It's just grand, you know, like it's instantly humbling once you walk in there. These freaking bugs. So to enter the cave, you can either go down the elevator they have, or you can go down the switchbacks and go into the natural entrance of the cavern. But regardless of what way you take, once you're in there, it's just breathtaking. We seriously spent all day in the cave. We actually did two tours. We did the King's Chamber, I think it was called. And then we also did, it was really, really cool, the candlelight tour, when you go down an unlit part of the cave with just a candle lantern. We had a really small group. There was only like six or seven of us. So you really felt the darkness and how quiet the cave was. Yeah, Carlsbad Caverns was an all around good experience and just a really great time. After Carlsbad, we would head over to Texas. Good old Texas. Yeah, we'll do that for another video. That'll be next week. <laughs>